everyone, it's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Uh, it's really early today. It's like uh, 9.30 or something like that, but I, I've been up since like uh, 8.30. And anyway, um, I got up early today because I was having a text message conversation with my friend Nick from uh, West Islip, and he was showing me three pictures of uh, a guy he knows locally in uh, Lindenhurst who's basically giving away um, a Husverna lawn tractor. And uh, from the pictures that he's showing me, I was looking at the engine compartment, and it looks like it's a Vanguard vertical V-twin. That's a very rare uh, engine. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever had a Briggs Vanguard vertical V-twin. I have a horizontal V-twin, which is in the uh, Blue Bayou. And anyway, so uh, I got myself ready to go, and I'm on the road already, headed to Lindenhurst to pick up this Husqvarna tractor. It, it was initially on the curb, and be because I'm not gonna go all the way over there, it's about a half hour drive to go pick up something that might be on the curb, because by the time I get there, I would have wasted my time, because it's definitely not gonna be there. So uh, I got Nick to call the guy, and uh, he agreed to push it back up his driveway. So I told him that I was going to be there between 9, uh, nine and 10 o'clock on uh, Saturday morning, and it's Saturday morning around 9 o'clock, and I should be there around 9.30. I uh, told Nick, hey, I'm on my way, man. Tell him not to, uh, tell him, tell him not to roll to the curb, you know, I'm on my way. Uh, just prior to uh, leaving for, for this uh, pick, I was uh, participating a little bit in... Uh, Pate's performance and the misses doing their um, weekly live broadcast. Uh, I've been meaning to, to join with their uh, their live stream uh, for a while, but I've never been. I'm never up that early, to be honest with you. You know, uh, but I would like to participate one day. Uh, so I'm just you know watching them while I'm driving. I'm not really watching. I'm listening. You know. Anyway, so. Uh, I'll show you guys what I pick up uh, in just a little while. Husqvarna 21K something or other. Uh, I did check. It is indeed a Vanguard vertical V-twin. Awesome. Um, talking to the guy, I don't think it's going to take too much to get it going, you know? Uh, he said he used it to plow snow for quite a while. It's got one of those canopy frames on it, you know? And uh, it's kind of interesting. So I just loaded it up into my uh, van, lickety split, two seconds, and uh, they were amazed at how easy it was to transport, you know? Uh, it rolls very easily, as if it's a five-speed. Uh, I didn't look at it too closely to, to know whether or not it was or not, but, uh, which is unusual because most Husqvarna's that I've ever had are all hy uh, hydrostatic. We'll see when we get home.
Hey guys, so I'm back. As you saw, I got this out of my van very easily, just rolled right down. It is a hydrostatic, however, it does have the free will disengage uh, done, pulled out, so I can push it. When I push it in, I hope that it's gonna be able to engage the uh, hydrostatic transmission. Uh, this bracket, I guess, comes with some kind of wheel weight thing, or rear we uh, weights. This is a bracket for the canopy. It's a sun canopy. Same thing that my friend Nick from Medford has on his Craftsman. I'll never use this, plus it doesn't have the top. You just put some kind of vinyl over it or something. It'll work. Maybe I'll sell it locally for like $20. Anyway, so this is a rear gas tank, which I hate because you're always going to run into what? That's right. Possible fuel delivery problems when it comes to the fuel pump and everything. So as you can see here, fuel has been disconnected, what it seems. See, right here. Ooh, a vice grip, free, scores. So you would connect this to the fuel line, whatever. The uh, middle one is the pulse, so you can figure out. Well, actually, I don't feel one. Why does this fuel pump feel like it's just like, oh, there it is. It's uh, attached to the valve cover, see? Valve cover has a small little hose. That's the pulse that goes into the fuel pump. This sucks the fuel from the rear, pushes it into the carburetor. wonder what that's for. Is that some kind of breather? Anyway, as you guys can see, man, this is a Vanguard vertical V-twin. And it moves. And it has compression. Uh, yeah, it has compression, but not super hard, though. Uh, scores, battery, 350 cranking amps, too. How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? Well, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, electric PTO, light switch, hour meter. Hmm. Ignition switch with no key, but on this side, you have another ignition switch with lots of keys. Choke, frozen. This is going to be a tough one. I don't think I'm going to keep it, to be honest with you. It's rough. Really rough. Tires hold air. You know, so this is a Husqvarna seat, right? But it looks just like the Craftsman ones. I actually have a brand new cushion for this. So as long as I put the cushion onto this thing, it ought to be a brand new seat. But I would like to crank this engine and see if it runs. So I'm going to... I'm gonna put the jumper on there and just to see if it cranks. See how much juice is in here. He said this has been sitting for about two years, but like I said, he used it to uh, plow, snow plow. There is absolutely nothing in this battery. 0 0.01, nothing. Completely dunsky. This battery's done. Let's put the jumper cables on here just to see what happens. See if I can crank it. That way you'll know the ignition switch works. Solenoid. Maybe safety switches, right? I'll sit on it. Sit on it, Ralph. This is the only part that turns, so I'm not worried about it. You guys think it'll crank? So, you secure that. All right, you ready? Nothing. Got nothing. But it seems like it's not even clicking because it's a safety switch issue. That's what it feels like. So 
what? Let's um, let's jump the starter. Let's just jump the starter. Where is the starter? Oh, guess what? <laughs> there is no starter. That that's a shame because I don't believe it's the same kind of starter as a regular Briggs. I think I might have to get a, a special Vanguard um, starter, which is probably really expensive. So you know what I'm gonna do? I can't do it today because this is something that you gotta start uh, with a whole project, you know what I mean? So uh, let me put a trickle charge on here and just see if the battery holds. So I got my uh, battery charger on a trickle charge for the battery for now. And uh, it's funny because once I put the battery charger on the battery, right, I heard it click almost like the solenoid was clicking, right? So um, the second ignition switch, the original one, which didn't have a key, I found the key, it was sitting on the foot pad. Took the key off, put it inside the thing, and I turned it off, it was on already, right? So apparently, that original key switch is connected to the solenoid, but there's another key switch over there. So I have yet to figure uh, that out. We'll figure that out on another day when I get started on this project. Um, shout out to my buddy, John Pruss, over in Madison, Tennessee, for donating some money to the channel. I appreciate that, John, very much. Also recently, I got an email from a guy named Carlo Pascal from Belgium. Can you believe it? That's right, Belgium in Europe. Anyway, so he asked me a bunch of troubleshooting issues and I gave him my answers. And then next thing you know, he PayPal'd me $10 from Belgium. So thank you very much, Carlo and John, for contributing some money to the channel. It's very much appreciated. Keep the videos coming every day. Also a big shout out to Eric Longor from Mount Bethel, Pennsylvania, who purchased two Dunstan stickers and two Patriot stickers. You guys gotta have a Patriot and a Dunsky sticker, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks a lot for supporting the channel. Buy a sticker. I've got some more pressing situations I gotta take care of before I do anything. First of all, it's almost 12 o'clock, and you know what today is? That's right, it's Oklahoma versus TCU. Gotta watch that. Uh, so Boba just uh, <coughs> tore through the uh, doggy door in my mesh screen door here. And uh, I gotta try to fix it, you know what I'm saying?
I just decided I was going to use uh, <laughs> one of 15 of my push mowers back there to, you know, just to mow the lawn because uh, I want to use up all the gas and all those things, right? And so that green push mower that I was just using in time lapse, that was the one that uh, Andy the Brit gave me, remember? And I uh, fixed it, whatever. And it only had like that much gas, very little gas in it, right? I mowed my whole backyard, my side. And you saw, I was going over my front yard like three times because it would not run out of gas. <laughs> my van should have better gas mileage than that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would love it. But uh, anyway, it did okay. You know, I just mulched. I figured that, um, see, I'm not really too sure on the, the three. You know, I think it's uh, potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus, right? And I had burned my lawn with that expert fertilizer, which is a 010. So I think that's too much nitrogen. I'm not really too sure when you mulch the leaves, what does that give off? Does that give off potassium or phosphorus? If it's nitrogen, then it's going to burn even more. I don't know. I'm not a lawn care guy, man. Write in the comments if you guys know what the issue is. Um, what, what does mulch give off? You know, when you mulch the leaves, what is that? Potassium, phosphorus, or nitrogen? Because I think I have too much nitrogen, you know, that burned the lawn because it's acidic, right? But anyway, uh, yeah, that mower, man, it finally, as I was pushing it to the back, died. So that one's done. <laughs> 14 more to go just to drain the gas out of it, you know, before winter comes. Um, anyway, so today we picked up that Husqvarna with the Vanguard V-Twin vertical shaft engine. I've never had one of those. Not a vertical shaft. I have a horizontal, but not a vertical. Uh, that tractor's got all kinds of issues, I think, you know, strange things like two key ignition switches don't know it's got dead battery it's got no starter so I'm gonna go check out and see how much uh, Vanguard starter is unless it's the same starter that Briggs uses on their single overhead valves because I got I got a couple of those that I could use you know so we'll figure that out on another episode I've got too much to do man so maybe you'll see that in a couple of episodes from now but uh, thanks for joining me on today's episode Picked up that Husqvarna for free. That's right, free. Mowed my lawn, mulched up the leaves, and fixed the doggy door. Now I'm going to go watch Oklahoma play TCU. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye. Hey guys, John over here at Turning Wrenches. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on Bowers of Blowers.